Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Here's the bod, got some quarantine thickness happening. Here is a full week of workouts in my apartment gym. I'll write the full workout for every day in the description. I hope you get value from this video. If you love this kind of content, oh, 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 oh. Um, smash that thumbs up button real fast for your girl because it really supports my channel. Without further ado, let's get into this workout. Starting with leg day. Notice that squeeze at the top, it's very important. Another thing I cannot recommend enough while you're squatting is to point your toes slightly outward and it'll focus the movement more on your glutes. You're welcome. My number one piece of advice if you are new to resistance training or weightlifting is you need to just go light on your weight and really slow and control your movements and focus on your form because this should be a lifelong pursuit of like really good perfect form because if you have garbage form you're not going to see results so my number one piece of advice is start with a lower weight if you have to and really squeeze the muscle that you're trying to work and work on that mind to muscle connection the muscle we're really working here is our glutes and our hamstrings and so you'll see that i'm kind of touching my booty here but it's because i'm trying to connect with it for these glute bridges there's some vital pieces of information you need to perfect your form tuck your chin into your chest when you're pressing forward try tilting your pelvis kind of tucking your tailbone under and squeezing at the top obviously and slightly point your toes outward next we're doing straight legged romanian deadlifts you want a flat back on these you can do these and not feel a single bit of it in your butt and just feel the whole thing in your back if you're not focusing on proper form keep the tension in your upper glutes while you're doing this by sitting back into your hips really slowly and controlled Ain't obvious. I just got the check for deposit it. 750 for the sound wave to get it processed. Won't stop to that shit. Weighing down my pockets. My main things to my main thing. She a blossom. When she eats the pain with the brain. We're gonna kick things off with a little shoulder warm-up. Some helpful advice for this warm-up is keep your elbow at a 90 degree angle, retract your shoulders back, and go very slowly to protect your shoulders because they're a very delicate muscle. And I personally find that warming them up. Really, really helps. Rose, I put it down on coasters. Stack Franks from the waves till I own the ocean. More praises for the sayings, let it all soak in. They like, hey, that shit is flame, bitch. I know I rode. They going tight, dumb Dre when it all four shit. Heavy up the four rows. For these straight arm kickbacks, you make sure you're engaging your core. Keep a flat back. And try and feel that pinch like right above your armpit, right in those rear delts. It'll feel real saucy for you. Hope you enjoy. Don't let your wrists be weak. Keep your wrist in alignment with the rest of your arms. Your wrists are super, super important. Don't let them be lazy. When you're pulling your arms into the rowing position before you rotate your shoulders, on that first part of the movement, make sure you're really squeezing your scapula or just your back shoulder blades, whatever you want to call it. Just try and focus the weight on that muscle so you feel a good pinch. Now, you might be tempted to think that this isn't challenging at all because I'm using a light weight. Well, you would be wrong because these will get you. Yeah. 
try to do me the balance, but I'm still yeah. Young black no. nigga trapped anything but no. Yeah. So like I just pointed out, a common mistake I see with this Arnold press or just regular shoulder press is that people drop their elbows all the way down and then you're taking the tension off of your shoulders. Time under tension is what actually grows your muscles. So you want to keep your elbows pretty much completely in alignment with your shoulders and not drop them down like so. All the same rules apply to this glute bridge. The only thing that's different is I elevated my feet as well as my shoulders. So, same thing, tuck your chin in, tilt your pelvis, and squeeze those cheeks, sister. Same with these, you're gonna want a really, really slow movement, and you'll be able to see that I'm moving slow, but I'm really squeezing, and I'm really focusing. Focus, sister. Focus. Normally, I would put a leg day on a Monday and a Friday to give my muscles time to recover because actually you'll see less progress if you overwork your muscles and don't give them adequate time to recover. So I recommend doing that as much time between your leg days as possible. Next up, we have single leg deadlifts. And you can do a staggered stance on this instead of lifting your leg. You can just keep that one toe on the ground and still bend. But I feel like I get the best stretch when I let this leg go straight. I mean, this is a heavy weight, so you can see that sometimes I struggle towards the end there. But I really love these. These make me super, super sore. And I'm really flexible, so I feel like I get the best stretch this way. Focus on a flat back and an engaged core with these. Don't let your core and your low back be pulled forward by the weight. You need to hold your body and your midsection really tight and focus on rowing the weight with just your back and your arms. Yeah, curls are boring and they suck, but they are the only thing you can do for your biceps. So let's get these baby buys right. Let's get them right. Just poke your elbows into your rib cage and curl straight up. Keep your wrists straight and in alignment and don't be wig wibbly wiggly oh my god <laughs> i don't know but anyway for this one same thing don't have your wrist wrists your wrists don't have weak wrists <laughs> oh
just like on shoulder day, this chest press, you need to make sure that your elbows are not going past level with the bench because you're wanting to keep that constant tension. This grip is reversed or supinated, which just means it's my palm is facing towards my face, which gives a really good stretch in your tricep as well, and I am obsessed. This lift is even better when you have a weight plate rather than a dumbbell, but we're working with what we got, so this is a great movement for chest, and if you haven't tried them, you definitely should. <sighs> okay, workout check. Now I guess it's time to wrap presents. <laughs> Oh, we'll see if I can do that. I'm exhausted. YouTube is and always will be a huge passion of mine, so I hope you guys can show your love and support by subscribing and sticking around, watching my videos all the way through because it really, really supports my channel and my family. If you have any further requests for your girl, make sure you leave those in the comments down below because I need suggestions and I'm gonna be literally going crazy with videos over the remainder of quarantine because I'm feeling saucy, y'all. So, get ready. It's about to be crazy. Okay, love you guys. Peace. But I... Bro, could you back your big Mac truck up somewhere else? I'm trying to YouTube. <laughs> I mean, it's so rude. The audacity.